Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to install the Citra emulator, which allows you to emulate 3DS games and I guess, well, 2DS as well. It's all the same sort of you know, games. 3DS is as well 3D. So to do this, it's pretty simple. I'll, this is for Windows. I'll have separate videos for Mac and Linux. I'll have separate videos covering how to set up different game controllers as well, like Xbox and PlayStation. So let's just get down to it. So what we're going to do is, first of all, just Google Citra. I'll actually provide a link to everything that you'll need and you can just access it via this. So just go into here, click download here and click download for Windows X64. You can go to obviously other platforms, but it's auto detected Windows. So that's really what we want. And you can even do manual download, but this is the one we want. This is what we're doing is Windows. So there we go, it's downloading. The next thing I wanna show you is if you go to compatibility, highly recommend that you have a look at this. And this shows you which games are compatible and to what level. So really I'd say you want one of these three categories, ideally the top two. So perfect, so you know, no problems, great. There's might be the other little problem here and there. And okay, you'll finish, you'll be able to get from start to finish, but there will be some, you know, major graphical or audio glitches. I mean, ideally, I like to try and get one of these, if not perfect, the one I'll be testing, I, I think was great. And yeah, there are some glitches in it, <laughs> but that's what it is. So what you do is go in here. So the one I'm testing is Super Mario 3D Land, one of the best games on the system. Do a search for Mario, don't click enter. If you click enter, it resubmits the page and you know your search query goes. So it's just like kind of a dynamic search type in Mario and my one Super Mario 3D Land uh, Super Mario 3D Land over here is down here and there we go it is great and I recommend that you actually click on it and on here it might one of your tell you compatibility in terms of different you know people's systems that they've tested and as you can see it's got better over time plus also if there's any known issues there are issues with it but if there's any issues that have been reported or say files that you want to use, they'll be there and you can see screenshots as well. So I highly recommend that you have a look on here because there might be some tidbit of information of how to maybe make it work a bit better. So I always recommend that you look at that. Next thing I'm going to show you is if you've got 3DS games, first of all, I want to state this video does not condone piracy. I assume that you obviously have a 3DS legally and you, you know, have ripped your own games. If you have like the games in a encrypted CIA format and I'll show you the error that you'll get if you try and run it on the emulator but to decrypt them you just use this batch you know CIA decryptor really easy to use and go to this website and I'll provide a link to it in the description instead of you typing that out just click this download button you'll start downloading it we'll get to that in a second because I've already got a CIA, CIA file and if I open this up, let's install Citra first. And launch that up. And from here, well, you can go to settings, but honestly, this sort of stuff you can leave as is. Go to next. And this is your installation directory. I don't want it in local. I want it in my D drive in a folder called games, in a folder called Citra. And uh, so I'm gonna to go to D drive. So feel free to put it wherever you want. Citra, I mean games. And I'm just gonna put backslash Citra. Click next. And you can either do Canary or Nightly build. The Nightly builds are the are official tested versions of it that are known to work. Canary may have you know problem with it and they're untested. Recommend Nightly. But if you wanna get the latest, you can check Canary as well. So click next, I accept the license, next, and start menu shortcut, leave that as is. Click next. And now it's, in, it's downloading in some more and just installing it as well. It's just downloading, you know, MinGW. And honestly, it doesn't take long to install. It's almost done. <laughs> okay, now that this is done, we'll click next, finish, and launch it up. Citra Nightly. And we'll just click no. Okay, so from here, the main thing that you want to look at is view. So you can go to full screen. You can change screen layout. So single screen will just show the top screen. 
large screen would show the top screen big and then like the bottom screen small i'll show you them in game side by side instead of being top and bottom be you know side by side and you can rotate them and swap screens as well feel free to do it however you want my favorite is just default top and bottom because it emulates you know the way it was on the system and you can also record movie as well which is pretty cool you can check for update directly from here but there's no update so if you go to emulation go to configure there's some configuration that you can do and in here these stuff you can leave as is on honestly you could increase the emulation speed if you want and the region if potentially you think they'll be beneficial to you but in system you can leave this the only thing i would say change is maybe change your country region so let's say for me it'll be uk and here. there we go i hate it when they start changing it and you know grouping them it's like put it all in alphabetical order okay and you know my time is what 8 13 uh, to actually no not the time or the date 20 is it huh? oh that's birthday sorry so you could change your birthday you can change your username as well i mean i'm happy to leave that as is and you can you know change the clock speed of your cpu as well the emulated cpu but again honestly we can leave that as is you can enable new 3ds mode because some games benefit from the new 3ds mode which is the newer version of the console you can also you know try and configure a camera if you want and you know check where the storage is being saved but for most part you can leave that as is so here we get to some cool stuff for the graphics you can up this and you can up this as high as you want but i say try it on native and then just increase it a bit and see how it runs if it runs well increase it a bit more and you'll get to a point where you think okay this is the best i can run on my system and just leave it at that and this will just make things look a bit sharper you can also put a texture filter on as well you can put on stereoscopic stereoscopic 3d mode so you can actually do 3d side by side or anaglyphic which is like that red and blue well you know that old school one from like spy kids that sort of one and in advanced Again, honestly, most of, most of this stuff you just leave as is unless you know what you're doing and you want to be modifying stuff like disabling VSync, that sort of stuff. Okay, in audio, again, most of this stuff you can leave. For microphone, you can actually specify a real device and you know, use a mic if you want to, if the actual game, let's say, requires a mic. The other thing is, depending on what game you're playing, if you have some audio issues, go from hle fast that should work most of the time to lle accurate the one i'm playing does have some audio issues but it's actually better with fast so i actually tested with all three modes so experiment with this one with with the games and then just figure out which one best for it and then in controls you can map your controls and you can you know, create a new profile you know let's say call it mario okay so you can have a a set profile for a set game or a set genre now to map a key you click it and let's say if i want to map it to the you know k on the keyboard press k that's it you know i'll go back to default and then you obviously can map all the other different controllers you can you know map motion as well obviously right now it's just you know with the mouse but again you can mess around with this you can clear and restore defaults and auto map as well so you can use a game controller like an xbox or playstation controller i'll have separate videos covering how to set them up and in hotkeys you can actually change i don't know why some are big some are you can actually set some hotkeys like f11 is to go full screen you know load file you know saving that sort of stuff so feel free to have a look at these and there's a bunch of different you know useful hotkeys and you just press the end and type in the hotkey. Well, I'll leave it as is, and that's it. So now that we're all set up, so you can either, you know, install a CIA, and if it's decrypted, I mean encrypted, you'll get this problem. Let me show you. I wanted to show you the issue because I faced it, and I thought I feel like some other people will face it. Click there, you'll start going through the installation, and then you'll come to an error. 
Okay, so it says Super Mario 3D Land must be decrypted before being used with Citra. A real 3DS is required, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we want to just remove this fold, this now, because it's, it is, it doesn't work. So what we'll do, uh, let me, We'll go to here and that's just in users, your username, updater, roaming, citra, sdmc, nintendo 3ds and I'm just going to delete this and it will actually not let me delete it because I've got this open, I'll close it, delete it and if I reopen it, okay so you can either load a file directly or you can double click to add a folder and if you add a folder, any games in there will be added, but I'll just load the file directly. And so now we want to decrypt it. We go to where our game is. So my CIA game is there. And this batch decryptor that we downloaded, right click it, go to extract all, extract. And in here, copy all these files. Actually, copy everyone but the readme, we don't need that. And paste it into here. And now just double click batch CIA. And this will convert all the CIA files in there. It'll decrypt them. And whilst it's doing it, it'll actually create you know, a bunch of different files. Don't worry, they will disappear and you'll get a CCI you know, decrypted file very soon. Finished, there we go, CCI file is here. And now if we do this, and if I was to just open up the folder, what's pretty cool about it, obviously you probably want it in like a games folder. Well, I'll just open this folder up for now. It actually shows you the compatibility for this one. It's saying it's untested, this European version is, but if there was, it'll give you some information. And you can just go load file and load the file directly as well. Now you just double click it. Turn the volume here we go. So I'm going to turn the volume down, but you could pro you could tell there was a bit of audio problem. Again, this one is not 100% compatible, so there are some you know glitches with it. So you just click OK. So I can use the mouse to emulate the touch, which is pretty cool. I was fine with emulators. Some the some of the controls can be a bit cumbersome, but because the DS and 3DS were very much about touch, the mouse lends really well. You can obviously use the arrow. Let's say if I go to new game. And, and you know, you can select a me as well. I'll just use the standard me, it's saving it. File has been created. And that's it, there we go. I mean, the game's running. I'm actually going to end it here now. And let's just end it. Actually, what you can also do is just, you know, save state. So the benefit of saving a state is if, let's say, I go to save. You can also pause it as well and restart. You can also report compatibility. So I forgot save state. That's saved it now. And if I was to turn this off, and relaunch it and double click it it just it just launches it from the start and the volume came on there because i just turned it on a bit and then i've turned it off just to make sure it's still working go to file i mean emulation load state slot one takes you back literally to where to where you are, which is pretty darn cool. And that is it. I'll shut this down now. And there you go. We have 3DS games working on our Windows machine. And it's pretty simple. Again, I wanted to cover the Bash CIA 3DS decryptor. I think that's pretty important as well. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the Discord group. There's a link in the description. There'll be an emulation channel for the Citra emulator. So check that out. And all the links for everything else will also be in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.